With Nux3, we can use what we call layouts. The layouts are just here to display different style or different piece of UI at a certain point, and we can change layout from a page to another. So here we can see that we can use the Nux layout by here just inserting Nuxt layout with Nuxt page on app.view. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going just to grab this and come back here and remove everything and put my layout here. Okay, so here what it does, it's, it's just setting a layout property on my page with define page meta. Okay, so if we go down here, we can see that we've got a folder layouts that doesn't exist right now on our application. This is because we didn't define any default layout. There is one basically, but here we are going to create a first layout. So I'm going to get back and I'm going to create a new folder called layouts. All right, and in layouts, I'm going to create a folder called default.view. If you want more information about that, there is a course about layouts on my Nuxt free course. Okay, so when I come back, let's say that I'm going to copy paste this piece of code. I got the template part from Vue.js. That means that I'm going to inject this part of uh, HTML, which will be compiled with Vue.js and will render everything that is in Vue.js inside this part of the template. And we can see here that I got a paragraph, so some default layout content shared across all pages. And here we got this slot. What is this slot? So let's come back to app.view. We already saw that we can display the router with next page. And suddenly we've got this slot. So what are the main difference? So here the next layout is to display a layout. So we will see later that we can actually change the layout. So here we got default, but we can have a second layout after. And we've got here the router that is displayed in here. And so we imagine that here default is going to be here at the place of next layout. And then we will have this and then we will have the slot. So the next page will be here to display the pages. So if I go here, we can see that I got my first pages, but the slot here will be relative to actually everything that is going to be under the paragraph here. So here, this is the router, but here the slot, this is all the pages that are will be uh, actually relative to the default layout. So let's come back to the app. And if I update, we can see that by default, I got my some default layout content share across all pages. So if I create another page, Let's say that it's going to be a page and here we are going to use the router from Nux because when you create a page in here, it's going to be automatically added to the root path. So if I create a test.view and I create my component hello test and I come back, if I go to slash test here, we can see that I still got the default layout. So if you call your first layout default in here, it's going to be reflected on every page where you don't specify a specific layout. Come back, let's say that here we would like to have a custom uh, layout. What we can do is to come back here and I'm going just to create it for you for the demonstration here quickly. We've got this custom layout and let's say that it's going to be exactly the same as this. And here I'm going to say these pages are using custom layout. Let's say that we would like that our test.view page will not be used by the default layout, but by the custom. What I can do here is to use script setup long TypeScript with define page meta. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to post this for instance. And when I come back and I go to test, suddenly I'm using the custom layout. If I go back to the home page, I got the home page. Okay, this was just a quick demonstration. I'm going to remove this custom layout and the test page. Me, what I want to do now is to focus on this part. Okay, so we will have here our layout and you will understand why I start by this. What I want to do is to have all my pages inside this slot, but I would like to have here, it's a sidebar. Okay, so I would like to have a sidebar on the left and then all the content on the right. So what I can do at first to do this 
it's to use here flex and what I can do is to put item start. So remember with chatcn we have tailwind CSS. So if I go down here we can see that we see that I got nuxjs tailwind CSS so now I can use tailwind CSS to create my full design. Okay, if I do this, suddenly I got the two elements next to each other. Okay, so that's the first thing. What I want to do here, I'm going to work on the sidebar on the next lesson. But what I want to do is possibly to wrap this slot that we got here into a div. So I'm going to put my div here and I'm going to put my uh, slot just in here. Remember, if you don't use this slot, you will never have any page displayed there, right? Okay, so we've got the sidebar, flex, item start, everything that is set up, that is really nice. The last thing that I want to tell you guys is that here on the layouts, there is no JavaScript logic to insert. Let me explain. If you go here on uh, pages, here we can see that I got a reference here, which is a variable or a signal. And here we've got, I mean, it's not a signal, but here it's a reference. Um, here we've got this JavaScript part, okay? Uh, you can't do this, okay? You don't want to import here some JavaScript into your default uh, layout. If you want to inject a script or do some operations before, probably you would like to do it into your Nuxt config file that is down there. This is a common mistake that a lot of people are doing. Here you are just working on some uh, design, some uh, UI specification on how you want to display the items. Okay, so here we've got the sidebar, so let's say that I'm going to put the uh, uh, sidebar into a div and we are going to end on this. What we would like to have here, it's a sidebar with, let's say, a menu. So what I can do here is to go to components and I can create, for instance, a, a new uh, folder called sidebar and inside I can create a menu.view. Okay, and I can initiate here my menu. By the way, what you just saw that I'm using, it's a snippet. So basically, you can use snippets by going here on your extension and typing view snippets. There's a lot of snippets here that you can find, for instance, this one. When you install those snippets, you are basically able to set up every file that you get here. Me, personally, I created my own snippet. I'm writing my own snippet. And as you can see, every time I type this piece of code, so I'm going to go here, vcomp, here I got a body that is generated like this. If you want to have this piece of uh, code, I'm probably going to give you a link in the gist. It will be easy for you to use. So let's come back. Here we see that we've got a menu. So let's just try to, ins to import this sidebar menu. And by the way, here you see that I'm typing sidebar menu and I don't import anything because with Nux3 everything is auto-imported. So here you can see that I got my sidebar folder, so I start my sidebar, and then I got menu, so I type menu. If I come back here, I got my sidebar menu that is here. So we can see that we can inject uh, here the component that we want inside the, the layout, so it's working. Now what we would like to do is to have something probably more intricate. So let me explain to you quickly. Here, I don't necessarily want to have a lot of logic here. It's possible, but what I would like to do is to have everything inside an index.view file, probably. And here, I'm going to type vcomp, and I'm going to type hello sidebar. And instead of having all of this, probably I would like to have sidebar like this. So I got my sidebar here. This is it for the layout. Now we are going to create this sidebar.